Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today is almost end of November, and I am so excited. Why am I excited? I am excited, first and foremost, for being here, present with you, to end of November, beginning, hi, Ani John, and December is upon us. So if you are here, um, show me with an emoji or put in number one. If you are a repeat, say number two. I just want to be live with you and connect with you. So here we are, uh, almost the end of the year. And what is happening? What is going on in your life? Last month, uh, actually, it was October pushing into November. And today, what I like to call the 27th of November, I'm all about numbers. So November in itself is like the pillars, right? 11. Um, the pillars, thank you for the emojis. Thank you for the thumbs up. 11 is two pillars that we stand on. So it's solid, it's strong. Today is the 27th. So two and seven add up to a nine. For me, nine is one of the highest spiritual number. It takes nine months to birth a baby. Also, two is a connector. Seven is the biblical number. It's seven days seven colors of the chakra and seven colors in a rainbow so seven is also very significant and biblical now when we add two and seven the nine so i like to call it we end this pillar of strength of this month on a high note and today i want you to go out and give birth to something brand new right so connect and think up, high up, ask God if you do a pray or meditation and ask for something bigger than yourself. It's like your wish list and make that happen. Hi, Mark. How are you? So with that, I'm going to share a technique that how we manifest. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari by trade. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. What I do, I have this method that I work with my clients and it's called the 3E method. And how I do it is by evoking what was, that means we delve deeper within ourselves to evoke and bring forth, it's as if the plowing of earth about ourselves, about our past, to bring forth, to bring to surface what we need to know to make that change happen. By embracing who we are today. That means nothing in your past is wrong. Everything. They say, ask God, why is my life like this? And God says, and why shouldn't it be? Or how else would, would you want it to be? That means everything about, about our past is what we created, what we accepted, and what we chose to implement. Yes, I like to call it, we had a choice. But with that choice, some people may say, it was not my choice for this ailment. It was not my choice for this suffering. It was not my choice for any of that. But somewhere, somehow, deep within ourselves, if it was being bullied and we got bullied, we grew up to become a success and maybe even treat the bullies in a different way or they came to you for something. If it was a pain, if it was not because of the pain, you would not heal or treat your body or self. So that is the part of embracing. 
That means whatever happened in my past, okay, instead of dwelling in the past and about the past, what can I do to accept where I am right here, right now, and appreciate myself? Some people call, um, I have a heart, why should I love myself? This is not about loving myself, it's about loving others, it's about doing things for others. Well, if your bucket is empty, right? If your bucket is empty, how can you feed or water something from emptiness? We have heard about it, we have learned about it, and today I'm going to say, truly enjoy who you are, what you are, with your mistakes, with the wrongs, with the pains, with the negativity, so that you can make that change to evolve to the next level you want to be. Because if we're constantly about the past, then we are feeding the past, the resentment, the pain, the anguish, the anger. But once we come to where we are right here, right now, and I'm going to show you a technique, a beautiful and an easy technique. I share it with my clients. It's so simple that so many are dumbfounded. How can that simple technique make such a big impact in their life? And you know, I like to share one thing. When the impact happens, it's not that you completely transform and evolve to this incredible thing like a success, a billionaire, a millionaire, or you become a queen or a king. But what if what you wanted to manifest in your life and evolve to what you want to be, if you poured all your heart and soul into it, and said, I want this with all my heart. I want to feel, and you pour love into what you want to become. If you were a success and you failed, you turn around and say, I'm ready to love myself. I'm ready to create something bigger this time. When we do something so beautifully, energetically, that is the most fantastic energy that you can put into it. And it's energy of love, energy of light, that when we put into something, it blossoms. You know for a fact, if you have a plant, and if you put a plant in a dark room, that plant is going to go down within hours, if not minutes. But if we put a plant in front of a window and position it in a way that it's not a direct light, but an indirect light consistently, and we water it once a week, maybe twice a week, depending on the flower, that plant that flower is going to blossom and give flowers. It's so easy to realize we are more alive, more sensitive, more loving, more giving, and harsher than any plant. So take that harshness and love every bit of you with your edges, with your harshness, with all the resentment and anger that you have festered to this moment. And here's the technique. I want you to sit back, go ahead, do this exercise. And if you're with me, do thumbs up. You are ready to do this exercise. Ready? Okay. Show me some love. Come on. You can do this. Now we're going to do this together. 
we're going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to take this piece of paper right here and I'm going to do this exercise with you so let's say this week which was starting Sunday Monday and today is Tuesday three days in the last three days if there is anything that has pained you or caused you pain if there is any pain in your body if there is any anguish hurt anger resentment whatever it is I want you to write it on a piece of paper on a blank piece of paper and I'm going to do this with you um, if it is the name of a person write the name of the person if it is a thing a feeling write that and I just wrote done are you done did you write it give me a heart give me a number one okay now sit back and think about whatever it is that you wrote and see how you feel how thank you mark how does that that word that person's name that you wrote whatever it is how does that affect your gut how does it feel in your body just scan it from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet it's as if you are scanning yourself okay breathe into it and as you breathe bring in oxygen vitality by choice and you hold four three two one exhale releasing it out let's do this one more time bring it in oxygen vitality goodness love light and hold four three two one exhale releasing it and letting it go completely and fully on the third count I want you to send love and just love whatever it is that you wrote because that thing that name has absolutely no power over you because it's only on a piece of paper so I just want you just to pour love into that or light Sun love nurturing heart flowers love into that word on that piece of paper let's do this together energy of light energy of love energy of goodness energy of light warmth love And as you do that, you bring your hands together, you blow, and you release like sparkles. Sprinkle it out, release it. Sprinkle it out, release it. Now, you take that piece of paper because you put a lot of that energy you came from shadow you came from darkness you brought it and made it into a reality on a piece of paper so if it was a part of your subconscious and if it was deep inside and you had not thought of it until this very moment you made it into a reality you gave life to it on a piece of paper so it came from the inside out from your hands all the way to the tip of your fingers from your fingers became a reality and was transferred onto something and somewhere else on this paper hmm? now 
with all the love you have poured into it, with all the light and your goodness, mm, you connected two things, releasing, letting go. And on the count of seven, today, two and seven, we're going to birth something completely different. We're going to, I'm going to ask you to go somewhere outside, outside of your home, go to the balcony, go outside in the street, and you take that piece of paper with you. And as you do, I'm sitting in my office, I cannot do this, but I will show you. I don't have what I'm looking for, but find a match or a lighter somewhere safe outside, not anywhere near flowers, nothing near trees, nothing near a dead bush, but maybe even somewhere very safe. And you turn this and you like this piece of paper and you watch that piece of paper go into ashes and turn into an ash and just crumble until there is nothing left but ashes. Paper crumbles and burns. Make sure that you are in a safe place and you watch it burn. And as it is burning, you release all the, the rest of the negativity, the rest of whatever it is. If it is a pain, let it go. If it was resentment, hurt, uh, someone bullied you, whatever it was. And as it turns into ashes, blow onto the ashes. When it's all done, stomp on it. Make sure all the fire is gone. And look, smile, done. Clean it up and let it go. Wash it with water or just make sure that it's in a safe place and you can blow it with the wind. And may the wind be with you, as they say. So this exercise is truly powerful. And I'll give you an example why. If you have any children, if you have any kids, when I say I give this exercise to my clients, they say, why would that be so powerful for me to do this exercise? I say, if you have any kids or when you were a child and you drew something, you colored something, you created art and you gave it to a teacher or a mom or your child gave it, gave it to you, it's not Picasso. Yes. I'm some, sometimes surprised that Picasso is billions and billions of just uh, a line, but it's about the branding, right? It's the volume, the energy of Picasso, that, that piece of paper and that line, that sketch had in it. It's the energy of your child or yourself drawing or painting with colors that places on that paper and hands it and says, here's my gift to you. So it's not the color. It's not the paper. It might even be on a napkin. But it's the meaning. It's the love that was poured into it. And today you gave love to something that perhaps had been lingering in your life that you had not thought of, that you no longer needed. Today, you did the three E. One of my methods, you evoked it, you embraced who you are, what you are, and how you can love. And you evolved by evolving and letting go of something. You gave that negativity a loving energy and released it to the universe. Thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesday. 
I hope today's 3E method was beneficial to you. By all means, stay tuned until next week, and I look forward to being a part of your healing, and we heal together. We heal within. So to watch this, if it's a repeat, by all means, let me know if it's a repeat. And I thank you, Mark, for always being present and everyone else. Hello, Alex. God bless. See you next week. This is Lisa.